Hello everyone, um, my name is Muzammir Raza and I'm studying Bachelor's of Computer Science at Deakin University um, as part of my assignment for discrete mathematics. I'll be taking you through the step-by-step -step guide to solve the compound proposition P or negative Q and negative P or Q. So we'll start with a brief um, definition of what, proposi what proposition is and, and what are the what are the elements of, of a compound proposition and as part of the of description of the elements in compound proposition I'll be providing a brief uh, description about the logical operators that we have used um, in this compound proposition and followed by the step-by-step -step guide to solve this compound proposition using the truth table so let's start a proposition is a statement that can either be true or false, but not both. Um, compound proposition is when one or more proposition combines using logical operators. Um, so once uh, that two one or more propositions are combined, they form uh, they form a compound proposition. So what combines those pro uh, one or more proposition is a logical operator. So so logical operators as X as a connector to join one or more proposition. So we have used three logical operators um, in this presentation. So uh, these operators are OR operator, AND operator, and, uh, and the negation operator. OR operator is symbolized using the capital V. AND operator is symbolized as the upside down version of V. And the negation operator is obviously referred is uh, symbolized using the, the negative sign. We understood the, the concept of proposition, the compound proposition and, and the logical operators. We now start with the step-by-step -step guide to solve the compound proposition. Um, so we, so as part of the step one, what we do is we write down all the possible values of P and Q. So P can eat, so P and Q are basically the two propositions we have used in this presentation. Um, so P can either be true, as we mentioned before, P can either be true or false. So we start with the first column having two true values and the two false values. And in the Q, Q column, we have uh, T, F, T, F. So T obviously being true and false, I refer as F in the column. And then we have a negation of P, which is uh, negative p which is the false obviously if p is true the negation of p will be false and if it's if the p is false the negation of p would be true same goes with the negative q p negative p q negative q now it's time to solve p or negative q part of the of the compound proposition so as you can see i've mentioned p column negative q column and the P or negative Q, Q column with the red uh, with the red color. So this these are the three columns we will be using to to solve the P or negative Q part of the of the proposition. So let's start. Um, so if P is true and ne and a negative Q is false, so OR operator makes it true, and T or T is true, F or F is false. F or T is obviously true. So this is the P or negative Q part of the compound proposition here. So in this step two, we are going to find the, the negative P or Q section of the compound proposition. And the column Q and the column negative P is what we are going to use in this part uh, or in this step. Um, so T or F is T, F or F is F, T or T is T, F or T is T, is T, sorry. We have completed the P or negative Q column and negative P or Q column. So now it's time to combine these two columns using the AND operator. So with the AND operator, you have to have both the values uh, true in order to get uh, true as your answer or you have to have both the values false to get the answer uh, false. If it's T and F, it's 
so obviously the answer will be F. So let's start. So first, first row, D or D and T is T, T and F is F, F and T is F, and T and T is T. So here we have the final answer of P um, or negative Q and negative P or Q. So that's it from my side. Hope hope you hope you have learned through this step by step guide on on how to solve p or negative q and negative p or q. Thank you very much, and hope you hope you enjoyed the presentation. Thank you.